I had a yank ash me about the old firm before, and he's gone. People exaggerate it a wee bit. Danny Dyer, all right, guys. I had a guy, an American. He's gone, he's gone, man, is it fucking true, man, that if you walk into the wrong fucking bar in Glasgow on soccer day, <laughs> soccer day, you don't laugh at the guy. Sorry, Dwayne, continue. <laughs> and he goes, I heard this one story, man, this guy had the wrong T-shirt on, and the other team's fans, they walked on over, and they didn't beat the shit out of him. Instead, they fucking grabbed him by the ears, and they sucked on one of his eyeballs. <laughs> it's like some disrespect, some tribal shit. Does that fucking go on, man, over a soccer match? It would fucking break my heart to deny that. <laughs> I said yes, Dwayne. Sadly, I've seen many a match marred by such incidents. <laughs> An old firm game, the whole stadium sitting with fucking monocles in. <laughs> Could they get you as well, Kenny? Oh, I couldn't believe it, mate. Never drink an air again, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got contact lenses, Athenian bastard. <laughs> how stereotypes change. Northern Ireland, they're into golf. They're going to Belfast then. One guy there. Uh, good man. Bel where are you from? Belfast. Where is he? <laughs> you, mate. You. What's your name? Ian. Ian. That's a fucking accent, isn't it? They make us sound like Michael Bublé earlier. Ian. <laughs> There's a bomb in the biscuit tin. Ian. <laughs> how long you been in Glasgow, Ian? Since 1985, you just get fed up with shite weather, religious intolerance. You thought, fuck this, I'm off to Glasgow. <laughs> Good man. 85. 1985. First time I was in Belfast, the hotel I was staying was beside an 80s bar. I thought that was funny. Ian, an 80s bar in Belfast, of all the cities in the world where you don't want to go and celebrate the 80s. <laughs> what the fuck is on in there? People rubbing shite on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Petrol bombs getting chucked across the dance floor. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Karma chameleon's on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a man without conviction. No, it's changed, isn't it, Ian? Golf, that's the sport. Tennis, Scotland, golf, Northern Ireland, Rory McIlroy, Darren Clark, good to see. They've ditched the guns, bought golf clubs. Progress. <laughs> they're still chucking the odd petrol bomb, but they're shouting four. No, giving each other a bit of... <laughs> a bit of support, a bit of feedback on their game. What you gotta do there? You gotta picture the shot first. Get that fucking police station on your sides there. Just stand. <laughs> Shoulders straight, bend your fucking knees. I'm lighted for you. <laughs> uh, we all get into it, don't we? Politics, we've got a whole country that could go back and reset higher modern studies. It's good, it's an education. <laughs> Sitting on Facebook, posting links to articles you've not even read yet. That was us. <laughs> People threatening to leave the country. M Michelle Moan, she left, didn't she? Michelle Moan, something. <laughs> Somebody needs to sit her down. Michelle, moan. <laughs> moan, Michelle. Moan. Moan to fuck, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> You're a political man, Johnny. Nah, you don't give a shit. Nah. I watch it, I get into it, I like the politics. I've started buying the big paper. I never knew the big papers were as expensive. I thought it would just be the same price. No, standing in the queue, news agent, my pound coin, making plans for the change. <laughs> uh, one pound eighty. Oh fuck, do you take card, mate? <laughs> yeah, only if it's over a fiver. Uh, just, all right, a Daily Telegraph and 16 packets of hubba bubba, mate. That's just like, <laughs> I watch it. The Tories, that's what we've got. Reducing the deficit, the economy, that's what's going on. Austerity Britain, making cuts. I watch, I watch him. David Cameron, we must, we must work together to reduce the deficit. That's what's going on. Reducing the deficit. I read about the deficit. Do you know about the deficit, big guy? Do you know Britain's debt? No, 1.5 trillion pound. That's how much the UK owes somebody. <laughs> 
1.5 trillion pounds. I don't know who the fuck we owe that to, but <laughs> surely they've gave up on it. Surely. <laughs> surely when it hit the trillion mark, they must have been having their doubts about ever seeing it back. <laughs> I've enjoyed Greece. I like their attitude. That's how you treat debt. If, if in a great time, it's got to the end. Everybody's on their case, the IMF, the EU, and they're just telling them to go and fuck themselves. Good on. <laughs> Well done, Grace. Angela Merkel on the phone, going fucking mental. <laughs> Grace, I've just got her on loudspeaker, just laughing at her. <laughs> Sitting, drinking bottles of Ouzo, letting her shout at them. <laughs> you must make the repayment now! <laughs> 240 billion euros. <laughs> Going through books on Greek philosophy, trying to quote their way out of the mess. <laughs> Angela, as Socrates said, <laughs> he is richest who is content with least. <laughs> That's a fucking beauty, man. Any <laughs> more? Or as Epicurus said, do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not, Angela. <laughs> yeah, let me talk to you. <laughs> or as Plato says, you're not getting it, you fucking cow. <laughs> Everybody knows somebody like Greece. I've got mates like Greece. <laughs> They're likeable, but you don't lend them money unless you're prepared to deal with their shite when you try and get it back. <laughs> well, have you seen that? Johnny, Greece actually accused Germany of owing Greece 279 billion euros because of the Nazi occupation in the 1940s. Fucking classic tactics. <laughs> Oh, we weren't going to mention it, Angela, but since you're chasing us up... <laughs> I like a bit of Spain. Any Spanish in? Aye, you, mate. You. What part of Spain? Fucking Shettleston. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Stevie. Stevie for Spain. Stevie. <laughs> Good man, Stevie. How long have you been in Scotland, Stevie? Aye, right, we'll get up, eh? We've peaked at that, Stevie. Busted. <laughs> It'll do that show on the telly now, Stevie. Christmas Day. Oh, he'll run to Stevie's. He gets coked up and puts that DVD on again. Fuck's sake. <laughs> so he goes like that. MD for Spain. I'm like, aye, me. <laughs> Rewind it. Watch it again. Everybody get in the living room. Watch it. <laughs> Very funny, Stevie. Very fucking funny, buddy. Spain. I like Spain. I like the cultural side. Siesta. I like that shit. You get to go for a lie down in the afternoon. It's called a siesta in Spain. You go for a lie down in the afternoon in Scotland. It's called depression. <laughs> People start worrying about you if you go for a siesta in this country. <laughs> Is the big man all right? Aye. Is she frying his seat? Is he all right? You spoke to him. You tried to talk to him about it. No, it's just it's a lot of siestas he's going for. I went to the gym, the real gym, you know, the big proper gym guys, the real fucking big tanks. This new breed of man that you get, they're the big mammals, the big protein bastards, big. <laughs> With a big beard covered in tattoos. They're going, mate, did I create you in a PlayStation game? <laughs> they're the big guys. They work in the car phone warehouse, but they're training for the apocalypse. These big. <laughs> Convince their best mate shagging their missus and they're training for the day they can finally prove it. <laughs> I went in, and that's what puts fat people off the gym. These guys, take it too far. He's big. Only God can judge me. I'm standing here judging you, you big fucking bell end. <laughs> I went to the guy. 
I said, look, mate, I'm trying to lose a bit of weight. The guy goes, it's all about nutrition, all about nutrition. You can do whatever you want in here, but it's all about nutrition. You can't out-train a bad diet. <laughs> and he asked me, he asked me what I had for breakfast. He goes, what did you have for your breakfast this morning? Instantly, I'm thinking, I better say something that I never had for breakfast this morning. <laughs> Make a good impression with this big fucking mammal. I said, oh, I had fruit, mate, a bowl of fruit. The guy's going, fruit in the morning. That's got to go, fruit in the morning, very high in sugar. You need to lose that. I'm thinking, fruit, mate. Fruit, that's bad for you now, fucking fruit. <laughs> fruit, I never had a bowl of fruit, but as far as you're aware, I did have a bowl of fruit, so I should be commended. I had a fucking Terry's chocolate orange, mate. <laughs> You've no idea how low I would stoop for breakfast, cold pashwari naan with Nutella on it. I've been there, mate. <laughs> and you're on my case about fucking fruit. I used to have four raspberry ice bowls and a wham bar for breakfast, half past eight every morning for six years. <laughs> then a rolling sausage at half past ten, a pizza crunching chips at twelve o'clock, a can of coke, then fucking Astra belts on the way home, fucking fizzy cola bottles, bikers, Johnny's onion rings, everything. And I would. I'm going home for crispy pancakes, oven chips, potato waffles, croquettes, yellow, mate. That was the only colour I would eat, yellow. <laughs> and you're on my case about fruit. <laughs> I never said that because the guy would punch fuck at me, but I was thinking that. <laughs> I said, all right, I'll cut out the fruit. The guy gave me a diary to fill in, a food diary. That's a step too far, Johnny. Submitting handwritten lies to somebody. <laughs> Tell me all these foods to cut out carbohydrates. You should be eating a shit, eat this stuff, eat this sort of stuff. I'm filling in my food diary on the internet, reading about superfoods, trying to impress the big man. Monday morning, I had avocado, avocado. <laughs> Here, what the fuck's avocado? In case this guy asks me. <laughs> you have it on toast? Or he'll go off his head if I say toast. I just say I had avocado. How many? How many? Five. Five avocado. <laughs> nah, fuck it. I'll put ten. Ten avocado. <laughs> sure, guy. I'm serious about it. Ten avocado. Monday morning breakfast. Then I had almonds and blueberries, and then I had beetroot. Beetroot. That's a superfood, isn't it? And a big jar of beetroot, mate. Get a spoon. Rattled a lot. Mm. <laughs> then I had quinoa. Quinoa. <laughs> Am I saying that right? Quinoa. What the fuck is quinoa? Quinoa? What the fuck is that? Click on images. That's a powder. Snorted a couple of lines of quinoa. <laughs> and then I had oily fish, and I really felt it reducing my risk of Alzheimer's, mate. And the guy's going, this is great, Kev. Is this the truth? And I'm saying, no, mate, the truth would break your fucking heart. I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> I lasted two meals without carbohydrates and I thought I was going fucking insane. <laughs> I never felt so angry. I had to get off the couch and just lie on the floor, staring at the ceiling, trying to take myself to a happier place. <laughs> Fantasizing about carbohydrates. I never knew what a carbohydrate was until you told me to cut them out and then you grassed them all up. <laughs> I'm lying there. Oh, I would love a spaghetti toasty right now. <laughs> Hmm, how good would that be? Or a baked potato with rice in the middle. <laughs> and I could put that on a sandwich, eh? When's the last time I had a piece and baked totty and rice, eh? Hmm. <laughs> With a wee spaghetti toasty chaser. Oh, yes. <laughs> then I crumbled, mate. I went rampaging through my own kitchen in the freezer. There was a tub of Ben and Jerry's that had been there for months. Now, because it had been there for so long, the little wooden spoon that you get inside a tub of Ben and Jerry's bent and snapped on impact with the ice cream. <laughs> so I had to put the tub of Ben and Jerry's in the microwave. Now, <laughs> I left it in the microwave a bit longer than I should have done, and the ice cream melted. So rather than just have a few wooden spoonfuls, as I had initially intended, I drank the fucking lot, mate. <laughs> I never knew how to fit that in to Monday evening's column. <laughs> hey, gentlemen, I hope you've had a laugh, hope you've had a, a smile, and all that sort of stuff, some jokes.
make a laugh, some make a smile. <laughs> Thank you.